it's Friday, start of another weekend for us. It's quite cold at the moment, but I think the sun's going to come out in a bit, which will definitely warm us up a little bit, maybe. And we're all set to go, aren't we? Just about five more minutes until we open. Yep, five minutes. Yeah, it's a bit of a frost, but minus one today. But it was considerably colder before Christmas, which was just a few weeks ago, but it, all, I mean, it almost feels wrong now saying Happy New Year to people in it, doesn't it? A few weeks ago. Yes. We've got a busy week to this week. What have you been making, Trace? So we made um, marshmallows, huge marshmallows, to go on top of the cake, and we've also done a few extra to go on top of hot chocolates, because everybody likes a small hot chocolate. We've had a bit of a breakthrough as well with the marshmallows. We were using a recipe that we used a couple of years ago and it was... It was a bit temperamental. Yeah. It wouldn't always work properly and I could never really fathom out why. So rather than persevering with something that might not keep working, we, I tried a different one and it's worked and it's it's worked really well. They're super light but um, when they're heated up they go lovely and gooey and lovely. So yeah. Sorry about the traffic noise. It is a Friday, so everyone's driving to work. That's why there's so much road noise coming on a Friday, particularly, which is when we do our introduction, which uh, isn't perfect, but so. Let's see what this weekend brings. Yeah, we'll have a quick, we'll have a quick scout at the cake counter. It's a bit steamed up at the moment. Yeah. Not gonna be easy to see. And in the meantime, I'll put on a video as well of the snow we had before Christmas. I'll show you that because we had um, some photographers down, didn't we? We did, yeah. They did like a, a photo shoot and it snowed, which kind of added to it all really, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Two Are you cold, Trace? No. <laughs> Not it is so cold, the counter's actually freezing over. And all the pipes and the pump to the coffee machine were frozen solid this morning. So we had a bit of fun doing that. Has the cake counter thawed out yet, Trace? No. <laughs> Gingerbread Butch de Noel. Butch de Noel? Ginger. That's how you pronounce it, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Trace has done a lovely jewelled Christmas cake. That's nice. I'm thinking that would be, good. <laughs> would be very nice. Yeah, it would now. It really feels appealing to, to not be outside. <coughs> yeah, we've frozen up. The cake cabinet. With me yawning. <laughs> <laughs> got my van matching hat. Oh. I coordinated actually. We've got the blue for this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you guys. Um, there's nothing much more I can say really because it's a fairly uneventful day. We've had a few customers, haven't we? Yeah, quiet day today. Who quiet wants day. To come out in this? That's it. It's, just... <laughs> it's too cold and the roads are still quite icy, aren't they? We just feel like we need to keep coming. Um, yeah. I think if we had a choice in it, we probably would have knocked it on the head for today. But there are people, you see, that have made the trip out on there. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, we've had five or six of our regular customers come out, especially to see us today. If we'd not bothered turning up, then 
you couldn't blame them in the future for not coming again really so we've got to keep going keep going <laughs> it's warmer tomorrow yeah yes unbelievably it's supposed to be something like 11 degrees on Sunday now it was to give you some perspective we had a customer roll up and they said first thing it's warmed up a little bit since then minus 11 that's this morning. the coldest we've worked in. Minus 11, I think we did so minus 4 last year and I thought that was... Yeah. Or the year before that was bad enough. Minus 11. I'm not sure you feel the difference when it gets to that kind of time. No, you can't. I don't think you can. And our, we both feel quite warm Body. bodies. Feel warm enough. We've got enough coats on to, to lag a hot water tank. Um, but it's just your hands and your feet that you just can't get warm. Uh, well, we're going to look into some electric socks. Electric socks, yeah. Craig, a lovely customer of ours, he bought some foot warmers, didn't he? Yeah. So we've got those in at the moment, which do seem to be making a little bit of a difference. Yeah. So thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. But it's really weird. This weather thing is weird because it was how many weeks ago were, was it? We were here in just jumpers, and it was about in November, we were in eleven jumpers. or twelve degrees. So only that three, normal, yeah, snow, three, three weeks ago it was about 12 mm -hmm. degrees and now it's minus 11 this morning and in two days time it's going to be 11 degrees very strange saturday the 17th we're setting up again it's actually quite dark it looks a lot lighter on the camera i just thought i'd get a picture of this sky it is considerably warmer compared to what it was yesterday i reckon it's above freezing now everything's on the floor let's get a picture of this sky wow look at that it's beautiful Why would you want to be in bed at this time of the day, eh? We currently have an art exhibition on at the moment by an artist called Johnny Arnold and his partner, Sherry Strong, has also got her art exhibited here today. Look at these amazing pictures. We've also got a group of photographers that are supposed to be coming in today to use the farm shop and the antique shop as a backdrop. Everything looks incredibly blue all of a sudden on the camera. Rain. I know I'm really early, but I was passing so I went to work. Can I have a cheeky coffee? Yes. Once you are used to getting it that cheap, you don't want to spend so much more. So, the last thing, reasonable thing I've seen was I think 500 quid uh, via Istanbul, Turkish Airlines. Sunday the 18th today and we really really didn't want to come in today it is windy it was absolutely freezing cold 
and we had a very very quiet day as well we had a quiet day hadn't we Trace yeah. until we're about 10 minutes from closing and how many of us there? 12. About 12 people in a rambling club just rocked up and um, yeah it was, a, it was a good finish to the end of the day. So you follow the channel then? Yeah I do, yeah. yeah. You follow Trev's blog? Yep. I see you um, as, if, as if by magic a uh, whole group of ramblers rolled up <laughs> and this guy's seen Trev's blog. It's weird. <laughs> So what's that cake then, Trace? So this is chocolate Nutella cake with Ferrero Rochers on top. Oh. Always goes down really well. Well, I did it once before actually, not always. I did it once before and it went down very well. So we'll see how it goes this weekend. This is the s'mores chocolate tart that we were on about with the big marshmallows on the top. And I think we could torch them a little bit more if people want them torched when they have their pie here with us. And this one is an upside down blood orange cake because it's blood orange season. They look amazing, I think. Ooh, oranges! The colour, the colour of them, yeah. I forgot to say, what else have we been doing? Oh yes, how could we have forgotten that? So, <laughs> uh, so we also made lots and lots and lots of marmalade because it's January, so the Seville oranges are about at the moment. So we've made marmalade to sell on the counter. I haven't got it with us this week though, we're just waiting for the labels to come. Hopefully they're going to come today so we can put the labels on the jars and then we can bring some tomorrow with yeah, us. Yeah, that would be good wouldn't it? I can hear the, I can hear the gate. That means Joe is unlocking. I better get this sign out. Start the day. It is actually. I've got the blood orange. We didn't want chocolate. That's nice, and that's really nice if you can warm it up slightly. How much have you done? Um, that's three pounds. Steady as you go because it's really hot at the moment. Okay. Oh, fairly big. Oh, 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 oh,
and uh, we're off to an early start, which is nice. Cold one though today, isn't it, Trace? Very cold. Yeah, we ran out of marshmallows for the hot chocolates. We better make some more, hadn't we? Yeah. And we had a visitor today, so I haven't mentioned it on this channel, but the guy that runs the cow shed antiques with Haley across the way there had a nasty crash. And he came in today, so it was really, really good to see him. And, um, Good to have a bit of a catch up and a bit of banter. <laughs> Hiya, Chris. Good oh, to see you. Yeah, I'm going bionic. <laughs> Full of metal. Blimmin' better than before, hey? <laughs> it, eh? So, what have we got here? <laughs> so, we get to have a coffee break every now and again. One of our regular customers, Nicola, her son Toby has made us a cake to try. So he's made a gingerbread muffin, which is lovely because when you're a baker, nobody, honestly, nobody bakes you cakes. So this is a really, really lovely treat. So thank you, Toby. I'm going to tuck in and enjoy it. Thank, thank you, Tobes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's even got a little gingerbread man in the top of it. It's a ginger cupcake. Looks amazing, really moist. Mm. Perfect, Toby, thank you. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright You can also follow The Baking Bird UK on Facebook and on Instagram. Side by side and through.